Investigating the stories that matter to you. Live from Columbia in high definition. This is WIS News 10. Good Saturday morning and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Allie Spilliards. Tropical Storm Erica dumped 15 inches of rain on the tiny Caribbean island of Dominica, leaving 20 people dead. The island's prime minister says the island's been set back 20 years by the damage the storm left behind. Authorities still can't reach some of the communities because of landslides, mudslides and flooding. Hundreds of homes, bridges and roads have been destroyed. Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency as Tropical Storm Erica nears Florida. Residents are getting sandbags ready to protect against flooding and stocking up on supplies. Meteorologist Vaughn Gaskin has been tracking this storm for us. She joins us now with the latest. Vaughn, what do we need to know? Saturday night during the Panthers' first preseason home game in Charlotte, a small group of protesters made their way towards Bank of America Stadium. The demonstrations are all in response to the mistrial declared in the trial of Officer Randall Carrick and the shooting death of college football player Jonathan Farrell. The protest did get a little tense at one point and law enforcement had to step in, keeping fans inside the stadium. Demonstrators moved along shortly after that and another group, Charlotte Solidarity, has planned a peaceful protest for later today at the Redemption Christian Ministry in Charlotte. Hard to believe, but it's almost been a decade since the deadly force of Hurricane Katrina made landfall in Louisiana. In August of 2005, Katrina formed in the Caribbean, eventually making landfall in Louisiana on August 29th as a Category 3 hurricane. There was severe flooding damage to Gulfport, Mississippi, New Orleans, Louisiana, and several areas in between. Nearly 10 years later, parts of the city remain in ruins, and some residents have yet to return home. Katrina claimed the lives of more than 1,200 people and caused more than $80 billion in damage. And to mark that 10th anniversary of Katrina, Walmart's making a special pledge. The company plans to donate $25 million in disaster relief worldwide. The money is going to be distributed over the next five years, and half a million has already been designated for nonprofit groups along the U.S. Gulf Coast. Donations will come from both Walmart and the Walmart Foundation. At least seven people are dead this morning after a vintage military plane crashed during an air show. And we want to warn you, the video of this crash is graphic. Now, dramatic footage shows a Hawker Hunter fighter jet crashing during that air show. And police say the plane slammed right into a busy highway next to an airport. 14 people suffered minor injuries and the pilot continues to fight for his life. The air show scheduled for today has been canceled. Top level talks between senior advisors to the leaders of North and South Korea resumed this morning. Those discussions that took place Saturday lasted for almost 10 hours. Leaders are meeting to improve ties. Tensions between North and South Korea recently escalated over the North's alleged landmine attack that maimed two South Korean soldiers and the South's resumption of anti-Pyongyang propaganda broadcast along its border. The three Americans who helped avert what could have been a mass shooting on a Paris-bound train arrived in Paris Saturday as heroes. NBC's Kelly Kobiea reports on how they took down a heavily armed gunman and what the suspect may have been up to. Sprint's offering DirecTV subscribers a free year of phone service if they decide to switch to Sprint. Now, you may remember AT&T recently completed acquisition of DirecTV and competition for customers has increased among all those wireless carriers. So the offer is available until September 30th. And if you're an existing Sprint customer with DirecTV, you can get that same deal by adding a new line. All right, if you're a phone addict, Instagram is thinking outside the square. Now, in addition to Square Post, users can share photos and videos in both portrait and landscape formats. Instagram's Square format is what has distinguished it from other photo sharing apps, but it's frustrated some of the app's 300 million monthly users. Square Photos will remain the default for photos shared on Instagram. Well, all of us get fatigued once in a while, but being tired all the time could be a sign of something more serious. One of the causes could be anemia. So in today's Health Minute, Adam McCoy takes a look at some of the warning signs of this blood illness. 
Coming up after the break, we've got your final look at weather, so stay with us.